Let's get into the Carioca footwork pattern. Now this footwork pattern on the volleys can be performed when you're already at the net or when you're transitioning forward. And I'm going to show you both ways to do it correctly. Now, when you're already at the net, the Carioca is going to involve moving laterally. So let's assume that you're rallying with your partner back and forth and the ball comes into your hip like this. Instead of moving, turning like this, having the racket behind your body, or maybe even jumping out of the way. I can even show you in your backhand side, I see players doing this or doing this. You wanna to learn to move efficiently away from the ball using the Carioca. So on the forehand side, it might look something like this. And you just keep moving in this direction. And then of course you can recover back to the middle. And on the backhand side, it would look something like this. Now you can also do this in doubles. So if you're standing at the net and your partner is serving, you're at the net, you're getting ready and the ball comes right at you, the same concept applies. You can move away from it by using the Carioca, which would force you towards the middle of the court, or you might get jammed and find yourself moving this direction towards the alley. And that's okay. You can let your body flow and then of course you can recover back to position after you hit the shot. So let's go ahead and demonstrate how this can be done successfully so that you can improve your volleys at the net using the Carioca footwork pattern when those balls come right at you. Now I'm going to demonstrate the Carioca footwork pattern on your volleys when you're already at the net. This is the footwork pattern you're going to use when the ball comes into your body. So instead of turning sideways and having the racket come behind you like this, instead of trying to jump out of the way, which I see a lot of players doing, you're going to effectively use this footwork to get out of the way of the ball and hit a great volley. Now I break it down into three steps. The first step is after you split step, you're gonna feel this foot step out a little bit. Sometimes you might not have time to make this move, but ideally you wanna step out a little bit like this. This is going to help you start to get away from the ball. Then as you're making contact, this foot is going to step behind like this. That's your two. Your three is going to be the other foot coming through so that you can square up to the net. It's a one, two, three movement. One, two, three. Let me go ahead and show you that. Let me demonstrate that by hitting the ball right now. So I can easily just step out of the way, bring my other foot behind, and then square up with my third step. Now I can cross over and get back to the middle if I'm rallying down the middle with someone. I can do the same thing on the backhand side. So you can see right there, I was able to make the one, two, three move with the Carioca. Remember, try to avoid stepping, stepping behind, hitting and stopping like this. Keep your momentum moving, even if it takes you towards the alley, that's okay. Now you can do the same exact thing in doubles. If your partner is serving and you're at the net and that returner is ripping balls at you, it's okay to move away from the ball like this and it's okay to even move towards the alley because once you hit the volley, you'll have time to get back. So let me show it to you right now, both on the forehand side and the backhand side. I'm going to do the forehand first right now. So even though that ball wasn't quite into my body, I still could get myself away from the ball. Now on the backhand side, the same thing. If it comes into me, I can still get away from it by using this Carioca. No problem at all. I can handle it because my body is flowing. Then I can cross over and then I can square up and get ready for the next shot. So that's the Carioca footwork pattern that you're gonna use when you wanna move laterally, when you're already at the net.